Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Graven. I'm back with more reactions with an X. I am super happy to bring you guys more One Piece, the first episode for us from 2022. And I am sorry, I am actually late. I'm late by like three or four days. We missed our stream on Sunday and it's like Thursday. So I'm super late on this and I apologize for that. I'm hoping to get this out and a bunch of the other stuff out today. I even took days off stream and time off stream to make sure to get it done. Long story short, we've been pretty messed up since the beginning of the year like uh, health wise but i've been trying to get through it and still make this stuff for you so sorry if it's a little late i'm hoping to make up for it to all the patrons because it won't actually be late for our youtube watchers just for our patrons so once again sorry about that with that said i hope you're excited we're about to pop off into even heavier parts of action on the story most likely as well as once again going into territories where i haven't read yet i'm not going to say any more than that i am debating on going forward and reading or just having fresh reactions still uh, I'd love to get your guys' opinions in the comments below or on Patreon or in the Discord, all of which are linked, and you can find them down, you know, below the video here. And as always, I want you, you know, to support the original content creator, because if we don't support Ichira Oda the Goat of the God, who can we support, really? Honestly, and I'm not even joking. And if you enjoy watching with us, you can support us as well. We'll tell you how to do that at the end of the video if you enjoy watching. I'm not going to make you do that before you actually see anything. That'd be ridiculous. In any case, we're going to get going on episode 1005. And to make up to you, you know, to make up for being late, we're going to actually watch the new intro. Because I think there's a new intro as well. And react to that. So this will be a combo for that. The new intro will also maybe get its own little video. But we'll see how that goes. That's actually really interesting looking there as well. And damn, that was what was dope. Once again, the concepts of the art are insane for me. That was the oddest, slowest. And the blood doesn't look too good, does it? Oh well. His scales are still the same too. They're using the um masking. It's just his face that's like got different drawing on his hair and stuff. And they are all still beat up, though. See, the blood looks a little better there. Way better there. Look at the blood there. And the cut there. Look how it's actually bleeding from the sides. This stuff is really interesting. But it looked terrible earlier, bro. It looked like... I don't, I don't know. It didn't look good. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Obviously not. It's fucking... Ah. The title, I'm actually fresh. I can't watch. Well, I know what's going on in this one, but it, I'm going to have to get used to this. You know, I never gave Queen a ton of credit, but honestly, it takes it takes a certain amount of intelligence to make these diseases. And they're, I think they described them once as designer diseases, and these really are. These, like, are aesthetically and purposefully made to be stylistic. It's really interesting. And I, I never gave him a ton of credit for that when I really should have. And down goes Fuija. Actually, aren't they supposed to be tougher because the ice's encasing them? Yeah. Most people couldn't get up from Mazoro hit. Oh, and he recognizes him. Oh, and he helped him earlier. Oh. Damn! I don't remember that from the manga. I forgot about that. Mummy's Onis, he has a monster fetish. Fetish, but you know, uh, a style. I don't know. I'm gonna shut up. Fucking playgrounds. Not just that, he made it. He's fishing. Oh, okay, he's fishing for that. I thought he was fishing for bullets in his. Mm. He's like, seal it off, boys. We've did up. <laughs> oh, and these ones are a different color. That's at least a nice touch. Oh, it's his masterpiece, so this is the best one. Oh, hello. I don't remember, uh... I don't remember this. Oh, now I remember this idiot. If I remember correctly. Doesn't he have a gorilla on his hand? It's so stupid. 
I'm not gonna lie, the Smile Fruit villains look so dumb, even for Oda. And I usually give him a pass on drawing people kind of crazy as fuck. And he's a headliner, I didn't know that. Oh no, I knew that. The headliners aren't that impressive. What's his name was a headliner on uh, Zhao, the sheep dude. It gets its own little voice. Oh, hey, there he is to help. I forgot about this. I, it, this is 100% in the manga, though, but I forgot about it. Sneak attack! But yes! To be fair, is it a sneak attack if you yell your attack name? He's, it's funny because he says the same thing. He's like, all right, got to get you up there without anything. And Sanji's like, rah, rah. And then he's like, oh, you were doing it? Cool, keep going. He's so mature comparatively because like Sanji kind of like pushes almost in the same way he would with Zoro. But because Jinbei doesn't push back, there's not the same relationship. It's great. It's very different. I will say that is an interesting idea of one, two, three fists and two of them are gorilla fists. I love it, they fight about it, and Jimmy does it. Yes, it'll only take three seconds. Seven second difference. Bruce Cola. Damn, one shot. Him and the gorilla. Three, three seconds? You know, about the same as Sanji said he could. Here it is. See, he's just like, yep, sorry, man. <laughs> so it's a totally interesting dynamic. <laughs> he's used to dealing with Zoro and being an idiot on all accounts. <laughs> not all, but you know what I'm saying? On direction and like what's going on, Zoro is not there. The music, though, has been so interesting. What is that thing? I've never seen one of those. That's cool. I like new things. I've seen those, yeah. What is this about? Just a daily look into the life? I was gonna say, look, the film effect again of the blur and then the thing. They're, they're, people are updating. Oh, granted, this is nowhere near like uh, the higher level anime and animated shows, but the, everybody's starting to adopt that kind of stuff. And it's good, it makes for better visuals. Even for crazy stuff like One Piece. Today is their day of freedom where they're not gonna... Okay. I, like I said, it took me a second to really get my head around what they were kind of showing us here. And why it was important. But that was actually not bad. And I don't think we got that in the uh, mang manga. See, look. That looks so much better there. Granted, now it's not bleeding anymore from the, the chest thing. But... Alright, here it comes, boys. Here comes the seriousness. Time to get lit. Thank you, Ashira. Uh, thank you so much. Tail smack! Kaido used tail whip. I am now less disenfranchised with that move having seen him use it. Did you see him undertaker his ass up? Look at his... <laughs> he looks like... Oh, that was a cool screen split. I like that. He said, I saw the shadow, and I wouldn't mind, but every time it tingles, I remember that day. Ooh. <laughs> I can't believe he undertaker did himself. Just a wall? Maybe it's just the filter, though. I do like that at least they're adding these filters now to the, a lot of the flashbacks. At least Kaido killed her ass. And we actually know she's dead because uh, Monclay has her fruit, right? Although I feel like there's more to that. F there gotta be more to that. Okay, here comes his craziness. What is that? That looks wild. Is that just him breathing in? Yeah. Invisible slashes, too. Well, they're visible to us. Uh-oh. Yep. 
Oof. Cut the whole sword, boys. I didn't know they could cut the sword. I just knew that Kiku lost an arm. And you, this is crazy. It's actually better the other way. That was really artistic, though. Holy shit. It was actually a little... I hate it. It's not, I've actually, I've been usually saying it the other way. Usually I've been saying it's better in the anime. It was that better in the manga on that one, the reveal, because the way it was revealed was through a different drop. That was really visually dope, though. Like, seeing it there was so... Art they, they, You could tell that part where they... I thought they were... I was like, oh, they're not saving animation budget because of that part with the people in Wano, right? Where they were... They actually looked pretty good. The whole art budget on this was actually pretty good most of the way through. For One Piece especially. But then... I was like, all right, well, they're not saving the art budget then for the big fight at the end, so we'll see. But they did, and they put a lot of effort into that little piece there at the end. I mean, that is an insane amount for one piece at the very least of detail. The blood, the, ugh, it looks so good. And then, man, my, my girl, no, Kiku, damn. Can a brother have a trap that don't get fucked up? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but for real, this was like, damn, all the characters I like I'll get fucked up a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Granted, I mean, that's maybe not true for some of these other ones, like uh, Yamato and stuff. But I swear, man, like, I've I've audibly talked about many times how I like Kiku as a character. I think they're awesome. I think Kiku is best girl and is funny as hell how a lot of people were shipping Kiku and Zoro for a long time prior to that i think people still do but prior to that people were everybody was shipping those two in the forums and so for me it was just so funny i was like yes kiku is best girl now no one can tell me different she's got the heart of a maiden <laughs> or whatever the quote is plus i mean people give um Oda a lot of shit because of the okamas and obviously there's a little bit of like stuff going on there and i'm not sure with that but i honestly especially with bond clay being one of the best examples for me of like yeah he's kind of seems a bit ridiculous he looks a bit ridiculous but bond clay is a writer like a lot of people tell you but bond clay is a writer die if you could have bond clay in your corner i'd have bond clay in the corner bond clay is best boy and best with girls so um seeing seeing this one was interesting obviously i knew it was coming because we were late this week sorry again which is also why we did the intro etc did extra you know all that but i want to thank everybody for watching if you want to talk with us about it i i am still debating on going forward or not I, i'm pretty sure though after having gotten those two spoilers i don't want to wait and get spoiled in the manga and anime channels that i watch so i'm probably going to go ahead and read one piece and catch up again which means that it'll take another year to catch up again in the anime when i do that like i'll be a year ahead again so i'm very like i'm like ah do i do it or do i just avoid all social media which i can't do if i run the channel you know decisions but thank you guys so much uh as always support the original content creator because without it you're oda and you know i forget if it's funimation or toy who does one piece but with, without the animation studio we wouldn't get more of these great episodes they do come out every week which is a huge challenge i i know a lot of people don't think about it but that's a lot of work to get a weekly thing out and they've uh, been doing really good job lately honestly i've been so impressed uh if you enjoy watching with us like comment subscribe here on youtube or you can catch us live on twitch most sundays sometimes we do miss but most sundays uh in the mornings you can catch us live on twitch doing these episodes as well as all of our new reaction series etc uh stuff like arcane tacked up destiny hit monkey etc and we do also have some patron exclusive stuff you can check out on our patron where you can also catch these episodes you know with none of the cuts anytime you want full audio full video we have all of our old archives ready to watch with links so just check it out there for as low as like I said dollar a month but if not i just like talking and chatting with you guys here if you want to chat on the discord the links down below thanks a bunch and i'll see you next time on reactions with the next one piece hopefully live on twitch